What's going on guys? My name is Hussein and uh, I thought I'm gonna make a little, bit, a little bit of a lighter weight video for you guys today. Taking a break from deep research of backend engineering, right? Those are can exhaust your mind when you watch these videos and keep learning and learning and learning. So uh, I thought I'd talk about, uh, about uh, talk to you about uh, my interviewing uh, techniques and uh, by no means it's not perfect and I don't think there is a, a perfect interview question that you need to memorize to get any job you want uh those might be shortcuts where uh you learn certain thing and you know how what the what the interviewer will ask and based on that you can guess or answer and, and memorize these things but i don't think this is this is a good strategy in general but that being said my approach is instead of asking Oh, solve Dicastra algorithm or do a, a quick sort algorithm, which can be easily memorized if you think about it, right? And and as a result, you if if you ask these kind of questions and the candidate just memorize them and happen to guys read or or do take take these courses, right? Uh, these algorithm courses and come to an interview and, and nail the interview. Yeah, how do you know they are good? They they might have been able to solve these algorithms, but it doesn't prove that they have the capability to think on themselves. They have the abilities to to have analytical analytical thinking. So that's how the question I uh, the question I ask is I'm gonna tell you in a minute. But it's a very open winded question. Spend and and it's it's I tailor this question specifically to the back end, but I tweak it a little bit based on how how the interview is going. And the reason I make it so open winded is the 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 candidate will not be able to kind of give one answer and this is the right answer because guess what that uh, that question doesn't have an answer. It just it, it just have a, it has like multiple thousands of answers and as a result you can just gauge your your interviewee you can gauge your candidate skills you can gauge how much they know you can gauge uh, how willing are they to to be pragmatic on their solutions all right so three minutes and we didn't ask that question the question is as the following, given given uh, an architectural system, there is a database, and there is a back end web application, right? The database could be Postgres, SQL Server, could be MySQL, anything you want. There is a, a database. Uh, there is a web server that is consuming this database, right? At the back end. Could be Node.js, could be Django, Java, anything you prefer. And there's in front of that, there is a reverse proxy that does uh, load balancing this thing. And I don't specify details, if you notice. I just say very high level details, All right? And then this reverse proxy uh, could be Nginx, could be Azure proxy, could be Caddy. I just give them examples, right? And then finally, there is this application, right? This the client application could be a desktop application, could be a web browser. And the reason I don't say one thing is just to confuse them even more, because there are, there are just if you pick a web versus desktop, the, the branch. First of all, the candidate will go to the branch they are most comfortable, which which is something I want to know. Second thing is that they if they go to the web that's not wrong it's just i would i want to know where where they're going after that right it's just fascinating to have a discussion after that so this is the stack right and i told them i told the candidates hey you're responsible for the whole stack uh i don't like the word uh, full stack engineer uh just because i don't think there is someone who's who can be adept in the whole stack yeah you can you can you can know about the whole thing, but to be very well a master on certain thing, you have to pick one thing and dive deep into it. There's nothing wrong with being a full stack engineer. I'm just saying you you will not you'll be a generalist at best, right? That's that's my idea, right? But yeah, 
So you're, you're responsible for the whole stack. And now I just say, here's what happened. Here's the problem. My user is have this application all the way here and they're clicking on a button, right? And this button, when they, the, the moment they click on this button, the application freezes for 60 seconds exactly 60 seconds and then the response comes back and a table is displayed with the results so this button is a, a is is responsible to display the results so i say this is the question where 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 what do you do to identify the performance problem in the whole stack and i just let them run with it Obviously, there is no right or wrong answer. The problem, right, uh, it could be in the front end application, could be in the reverse proxy. There is uh, the reverse proxy could be choking on something. The, the 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 web server could be processing this stuff, and it could be that the database could be just a slow database query that doesn't have indexes, or could be we're retrieving too much information, or could be we're doing something any anything in this stack, right? And, and based on that, it is fascinating for the past 16 years from, of my career, the different answers I get on these questions. And based on that, I, I have a gut feeling to, okay, let's hire this guy or gal. It's just a gut feeling at the end of the day. Because, oh, all right. You, you will notice that if someone is, is, is really interested in databases, they will spend so much time here. All their times, like okay, I might do this, I might do this, I might go do database tuning, I might, I might actually uh, enable uh, database tracing and see how the queries look like. I, I'm gonna see. They spend a lot of time, and if they're they're really passionate about front end engineering, you will see most of their time spent on the front end. And this is okay. I'm gonna look at dev top, uh, dev tops, dev tools, and I do all that stuff. I'm gonna check all these networking. I'm gonna check the JavaScript stack. I'm gonna check the event loop and see if I'm doing something wrong. And 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 sometimes they say stuff I don't even know. Like uh, I'm gonna check Re React components, which I don't understand. I don't know anything about. Right. <laughs> so so yeah, it's it's just. So, and I, I, as they talk through the stack, I see their eyes light up in certain areas. And this is where I know, oh, this guy or a gal is really passionate about this area, right? Because they're spending a lot of time just discussing this stuff, right? And if they gloss over this thing, doesn't mean they are bad. It's just they're not interested. And that's absolutely fine, right? So some people spend a lot of time in the reverse proxy. And my God, I met one gal she was so good she broke down she spent almost like 25 minutes talking about the reverse proxy and how she can optimize it i was baffled she was so good yeah she ended up accepting another offer though <laughs> but uh yeah so that's that's fascinating uh, all this stuff is fascinating to me that's so that's the question i ask guys uh, in an interview uh, again it doesn't give you it doesn't give you any it gives you some indication but i don't think there is a question that you can ask and say that's the gal i want or that's the guy i want i don't think they exist there's there's no way way to find if this person fits your job you can ask them technical question all all you want it's like oh what is uh, and sometimes i do that's like a, if if they they uh, sometimes I like to make the candidate uncomfortable a little bit. Like if they spend a lot of time in their front end, I know they don't know much about back end. So I ask them very, very stupid questions that I know they're not going to answer, but I just want them to feel a little bit uneasy, right? It's just, it's just an asshole move from me. <laughs> and I was like, okay, what, what, what is, uh, talk to me about repeatable read uh, isolation level, for example, in, in databases. And when we're going to use it? Obviously, this is a little bit of a very technical question and specifically to the relational databases, right? But I, I still like to ask this question. But they, if they didn't answer, that does not mean they don't get the job or they are bad. Not at all, right? And most engineers that, that interview for a long time understand this thing. There's, there's no way. It's always a gamble if we hire someone. It's always about how you feel, gut feeling. And Gary V actually says that sometimes says okay I, I if i look at someone he's even at the extreme end it's like he look at someone and say okay 
you're hired because he quickly fires someone if it doesn't if, if they they don't perform he doesn't have a problem with that right so this is his approach so he hire 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 her and he doesn't have problem with firing so he doesn't have a problem with hiring he doesn't have a problem it's, just, it's like he shows the trial and based on his gut feeling right and uh, yeah so that's the idea of the interview i hope it gives you some some sort of a idea if you're interviewing for a job just be yourself and if you're truly to yourself you enjoying engineering there is a job out there for you that just fits you and just be kind be nice be be down to earth um and if you know something if you if you don't know something just say i don't know that's absolutely fine it doesn't mean anything right if that if the, if the interviewee if the interviewer asking you difficult questions just just for the sake of they showing their skills then I don't think that's a good interviewer either. So it's it's a balance. I don't know. So I don't think there is a way to to pass an interview, right? A, a sure thing way to pass an interview. Yeah, you can memorize all the algorithms you want, but I de- I never ask any any algorithm question in my job, or or even my previous job for that matter. But yeah, guys, that's all. That's a quick video today. I uh, hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. And uh, I'm gonna see you in the next one. And then I'm gonna see you in the next one. I had to head back to work. It's around six in the morning. Just uh, thought I'm gonna make a video for you guys. Gonna see you in the next one. You guys, stay awesome. Goodbye.